The closer you look, the less you see. So come on in close. In 1965, the king of rock and roll was shown a coin trick. The trick was so simple, yet so powerful, he had no idea how it was done. This is the trick that fooled Elvis Presley. The magician has two coins and a napkin and a pen. He told Elvis to take a coin. Elvis took a coin and placed it onto his open hand. Elvis was then instructed to write his initials on the coin. He wrote down E.P. The magician then took back the coin and placed it on one of the napkins cleanly. Elvis watched the magician carefully, but the magician was completely fair. He then wrapped Elvis's coin up in the napkin. He then gave the coin and the napkin to Elvis so he could hold them. Elvis could feel his coin in the napkin. The magician then picked up a coin and put his initials on it. In this case, I have written O-O. Again, Elvis watched carefully, but everything was clean and fair. The coin was then placed in the middle of the napkin and wrapped up. The magician told Elvis that something incredible was going to happen. Elvis was intrigued and so sat and waited. Both coins were now wrapped up. The magician's coin was on the right and Elvis's coin was on the left. The magician then took the pen and made it disappear. After that, the magician snapped his fingers, saying the coins would switch places. Elvis opened the napkin that he had been holding the entire time. And the coin now had the magician's initials on it. The magician then opened his napkin, and it had Elvis's coin in it. The two coins had switched places. This trick requires three coins, two napkins, and a pen. Sign a coin with your initials on it. This coin is going to rest in finger palm. Simply place the coin in the middle of your third and fourth fingers and then curl your fingers around it. It will look as if nothing is in your hand, but really you're concealing a coin. Practice holding the coin in this position until it becomes natural. Soon you will be able to finger palm easily. The spectator will never suspect that you're concealing something. Tell the spectator to sign their initials on a coin. In this example, I've signed the coin saying E.P. Take that coin back and place it onto the napkin. The first and only move happens when you wrap up the coin. Take the hand that is holding the coin and place it under the napkin. You want the coin on top and under the napkin to be directly on top of each other as shown.
come in with your other hand and pinch both coins. Now simply turn over the napkin and start wrapping up the coin. All you're doing here is switching the coins in a very easy, clean and deceptive manner. This is a simple move, but incredibly powerful if performed correctly with practice. It's important to remember at this point in the trick that the spectator isn't expecting you to do any slights because they don't even know what's going to happen. Not only therefore is this move easy to do, but it also comes at a time when the spectator is least expecting any sleight of hand. This now means you have wrapped up the coin with your initials on, and you still have their signed coin in your hand. Keep their coin in finger palm as shown. Now take another coin and put your initials on it. In this case, I have written OO. It is important that the initials look the same as the duplicate coin. As you did before, take the napkin and place the extra coin under it. Then place the coin you just signed on top of it. Perform the same move and switch out the coins. You can keep the extra coin in your hand or put it in your pocket as you remove the pen. Now simply say the coins will switch and let the spectator see the incredible illusion.